here at Sydney Motorsport Park, Power Cruise, with Dean G and his legendary VK. Hey, how are you, you, mate? Good, good, good. What a car, man. So, um, how long you had it for? Oof, I've had this since I was 16. Yeah. I'll be back in uh, 2008. So, run a market on your P-Place and stuff? Yeah, no, look, it was a stalker. It was a 202. Tri-Matic, and if everyone's ever drove one, you can't really run a market. <laughs> but no, I always wanted a Calais. My brother, my brother had a VK. He used to take us to school. My oldest, Jason. Yep. And I always wanted one, and yeah, finally got one. No, nah, that's mad. And um, what a car yeah, it is. Thanks, man. So tell us a bit how about how it's evolved. So uh, when I bought it, fell in love with the color. It's a metallic bronze, um, and uh, always knew that it was, it was something that was going to turn into a bit of a fun car. I ended up buying a, a crate. Um, 515 engine, just standard deal, little hot camshaft in it and whatnot. Chucked a 400 behind it, and that uh, that was it for a couple of years. Awesome. Obviously, run a muck with that. Yeah. Full party cars, yeah, seen look, plenty of skid down, Mel down in Melbourne, we had the uh, the PCM for a couple of years at Winton there, and we all loved that. We all had a had a ball at that, and then uh, slowly evolved into that not being around and then I got a hold of Power Cruise and I said yeah we're going to do that Yeah. and then uh, I did one event with that engine and then we, uh, we ended up building a solid roller 416 for it yep. um, which uh, Danko from Addicted Performance looks after all my engines and all, all, all that work there and um, now it's a 427 big big camshaft in it solid roller all the deal with that and um, yeah he can split uh, manifold with the, his heads and all the bits and pieces to follow that. Yeah, you have any idea what power it makes? Has it been on the dyno? It, it's north of 850. We got to 850 and we had a mishap with uh, the coil packs coming down and touching the pipes. But yeah. It was well on its way up and above 850. Yeah, what an animal, man. Yeah. For an Aspel engine. Yeah, it unreal. Is an Aspel engine. Yeah, yeah. It does love the RPM. Yeah, 100%. We all know that. Yeah, uh, last year. Oh, sorry, last time I was here, sorry. 2015 it uh had a mishap with the limiter not being set and we uh we revved it well and truly into the nines well i did sorry thanks <laughs> but um yeah and this time around i've been a good boy kept it down low but uh i think for this last day i think we're going to give it a bit yeah very good can't wait to go for a lap in it yeah so what box is in her it's got turbo 400 done by uh jason shotgun performance he does my converter as well Never misses a beat, mate. That converter is so good. Yeah, he's a legend. We've never had, we've always used Jace and never had an issue with his yeah, work at champion. all. So all the fab work obviously done in-house by your shop. Yeah, Team G. So we've done everything from front to back, from radiator, custom front end, all chromoly, uh, coilovers, cage, full rear clip, all the bar work, connecting rails, you name it, smooth bay, everything. Yeah, awesome. And um, what wheels have you got on it? Magnums? Yeah, gold Magnums. Yeah. I fell in love with these wheels as a kid and I always said I'd have a car with them on. And I tell you what, buying them and thinking brown and gold going together, I never thought it'd look as good as it does. Oh, it definitely does. Definitely. Sets the car off, I think. Yeah, and what size it. are the back ones? So they're a 10 with a 5 inch back space. Yep. And uh, we've got a 325 on them at the moment. Yep. Uh, we race with both depending on how good the track is. We've got a 275. Yep. And if the track's on, if the track's on the 275, the 325's for further no prep stuff and getting it happening because uh, either way you can get those menses working perfect. Oh, for sure. And what, uh, what numbers have you run in it? But I haven't run it again since 2017. Yep. But in 2017 it went no one's. Was it 957 142? Awesome. So this time around, it made a bit more steam, and we're hoping to blast that out of the water. Yeah, fuck yeah. And um, show us the trim. Yeah, no worries. So the trim was done by Tim at Sofine. Yeah. Down in Melbourne there. Yeah. Um, I, it's probably one of my highlights of the whole car. They came up in. They originally started as a factory turkey. We modified them to suit, reinforced them to suit. The little one percenters, like obviously it's stitched the same way as the Calais seat, but um, right down to the hole in the middle here, it's yeah, in the same shape sure. as the rear seats. Yeah, it matches the All back the perfect. Suits. Yeah. We've got another insert that's trimmed exactly the same with the hole cut out for the uh, harnesses to come through. Awesome, yeah. And if you, you come around the back here, the map pockets. Yeah, we, we had to have the map pockets. Oh, I noticed them straight away, mate. Yeah, look, it's not a Calais without them. Hundred percent. Definitely sets it off, finishes it. Uh, back seat come up amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah very good. In it and, uh, they've set it up for the comfiest things. So. For, the, for the size of the tubs in it, definitely yeah. very good. Most done a great job. Yeah, and all factory dash and stuff still in it. Yeah, factory dash, all working and everything like that. 
Yeah. Factory wheel, look, she's got a bit of a beating this uh, this weekend, but we'll get that all fixed up with unseen repairs getting on to it. No, when you when you're swinging off it like that. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt it's gonna happen. Um, yeah, even Tim's done a fantastic job. He got the headlining above the cage and yeah. Yeah, everything. It looks amazing. Yeah, cage is all tucked up, nice and tight. Yeah, How we like him? Thing. Yeah. No, very good, mate. Awesome. Yeah, appreciate it. All right, let's go get her out from the on the track for some no, laps. Thanks very much, man. Cheers, mate.